All right, let's go ahead and start with building a new folder. Okay, first off, folder selections. My first option, create new folder. We're going to go ahead and go build, test, and today is 415. How did you get into that? It's folder selections, create new folder. OK. I'm going to go ahead and use the name for ID. You do not need to do that. It's actually recommended that you use some kind of numbering or whatever system you use to number your clients or log your clients in because of privacy concerns. Okay? If you type in Joe Smith here and use name for ID, you have some privacy violations because if a neighbor of Joe's comes in and goes, oh, Joe's training too, because they're going to see their name on the list, you're non-compliant. So you need to come up with some kind of system to keep your clients straight that keeps in mind some of the different privacy laws. OK? I hit OK, just basically asking me, confirming, do I have any typos? Is this the name I currently want to use? I say, yes, it is. I hit OK. Now, for this first exercise, we're going to start with a basic protocol. We're not going to jump into the Z-score stuff yet. So I'm going to literally grab the top one, alert beta training with Flash Games via Event Wizard. Okay. It doesn't mean that all of our protocols built in the Event Wizard. It simply means the Event Wizard's running in the background, controlling the games. I highlight it. I hit OK. Now what you're going to notice, trainee ID, build test 415, comment, alert, beta up. Theta, high beta down. Okay. I'm now going to say, let's view or change settings. Let's look and see what this protocol is all about. All righty. We'll come back to read, write settings file later. We're going to drop. Uh, when I came back to that, uh, it didn't, it, when I got back to that, it didn't, it's a, I already had somebody else pulled up, and it came to him. When I go into, uh, Go ahead and minimize. One, then, I, then I have the build test 4.15. But the, but the screen before it, it didn't say that. It didn't mm. say 4.15. It didn't say build test 4.15. Okay. It said the old one. Um, you probably have Vista, and you probably yeah. have an older version of our software before that fix was implemented that we had to make the call twice. Vista requires, if you don't make the call twice, it doesn't refresh that original screen. It actually puts the settings in like you're seeing, mm -hmm. but it doesn't repaint that first screen. Okay. The newest 3.4, you won't see that. Well, I got 3.4. But the newest one should be fine. Okay. I need to, I need to update one more time. Right. Okay. I typed a new uh, <coughs> ID in. Just uh, named it sample, and there's a, there's a backslash at the end of it. Did you put the backslash in? No, because under trainee name, it does not have it. OK. Well, that doesn't matter, but go ahead. It's the ID that matters. What did the ID say when you hit OK? Well, whatever. Go ahead. What's the question? Well, uh, trainee ID and the trainee name are not identical. Because you got to use the button that says use name for ID. Remember? Here, look. If I click on exit, will I go back in? No. Folder selections, create new folder, whatever I type. OK. I hit use name for ID to make them identical. In some cases, it will. Right. If not, it's going to shrink it, twist it around, try to disguise it for you. Create new folder, type it in. Hit OK. OK, now look. Look up here. Trainee ID always has a slash. Trainee name doesn't. Oh, it does? Yeah. 
Okay. Okay. 